Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2017. Technically still in the beta over here. We are playing as Air United. We are still in the preseason. Uh, we are putting an offer for our very first um, Chief Scout. Unfortunately, Livingston is also going for the same dude over here, and we were negotiating relatively aggressively, uh, or, you know, like, cheaply for this guy, so he may not go for us. There is someone else who actually wants to join us. He's not the greatest scout, but, you know, We'll, we'll see what we go. Um, we have to, our board wants us to know uh, where we want to set our expectations at this point. The higher we put our expectations, the more money we will get. So here, this would just be the baseline. We're going to attempt to avoid relegation. Not saying much. Here we promise we're going to avoid automatic relegation. By doing that, we do get a slightly higher wage budget and transfer budget from the board. I could try to avoid the relegation battle altogether, but I don't know if that's realistic. Apparently my team doesn't think it's realistic, so I'm going to do that. In terms of the cups, I think I'm going to leave the expectations where they are. Um, there's sometimes a better possibility for us to do a little bit better in the cups because we are going to play playing against some lower league people, but not that far. And it doesn't make that much of a financial difference. So I think I'd rather just avoid, you know, getting fired from not necessarily doing that well anyway. The cups also tend to come early in the season. They're a good place to like try out a few different strategies or, or practice some other players and things like that. So we're going to do that. It's sort of like a weird mentality because for me, I always assumed like the cups, these are things where you get trophies. These are the most important things, right? Um, and no, it's actually the main, your sort of main league, which in this case is our Ladsbrook's championship over here. That's the most important thing. So those are our goals, our expectations. The better we do there, um, if we meet these goals, then um, our board will be happier. So... We're going to continue here. A couple of days since the last episode, mostly just going through responding to that scout advert. Um, oh, Jim Mullen's getting a lot of offers over here. Most likely he's not going to go for us. I should probably just talk to this guy or, or look at one of the other uh, potential scouts. Um, 1299. We have, oh, this guy's pretty good. You know what? Let's put an offer over here. Um, I'll just try to negotiate a little bit. Oh, he's fine with that. We're going to finalize. It'll take a little while to think about. He might get some other offers in the meanwhile. So we'll see. If that other scout or er, er, potential guy, um, Wraith have offered him a contract as well. So everyone's trying to get that Mullen guy. So we probably won't get him. He'll probably end up going with someone else who's probably paying him, going to offer him more or is a better team. Yeah, so Mullen's going to go to Wraith, which is fine. Jay Holland has been injured. Um, this is, I believe, is on our youth team, our youth squad. Yeah, air under 20s. I haven't really looked at our under 20 squad. Actually, almost all these guys are just randomly generated. We don't really have a youth squad. We have two people on here. We have Andrew Johnston and Jay Holland. Jay Holland's been hurt. <laughs> so that doesn't bode well for the youth squad. Um, that's fine. Uh, more advice over here. Oh, this is advice for the, uh, the youth squad. Um, yeah, sure. You can make the injured guy that. And he can be a penalty taker. That's fine. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Regular squad, any tips coming in? No, nothing right now. Okay. Um, Gary Harkins demands focus and preparation. Oh! Player slash coach? Uh, oh, you want, you would like more tactics to be in here. You know what? I totally agree. I'm going to set uh, another copy. Fine. That's fine. Of uh, uh, Which one? Two, three, one... Actually, what's the DM wide? How does that compare? Because, um, yeah, he wants some alt alternatives. Oh, yeah. Okay. It has to do with... So here we're playing defensive middles as opposed to a center mids. Ooh. That's interesting. The problem is Kearney's not comfortable playing there. Kearney's a really good player over here. He's quite strong for our team. You know for our team. He's not bad, but he's not comfortable playing that far back. Now, this is certainly more defensive. Now, here's the thing. I don't have to do this, right? I could still just say, no, no. Okay, so we're going to have another one of these. That's going to be fine, um, but with a slightly different setup. Now, what's kind of annoying is there's no way to just, like, copy, like, I want you to copy one of my existing tactics. It's not an option. You have to save it. That might not be bad. What I'm going to do, I'm going to clear this slot. Um, so this is the tactic we'd set up earlier. I'm going to save this, right? There we go. Um, air one or just air. There we go. And then over here, I'm going to do is load in that. And then it says copy of, and it's a little awkward. And then I can't rename it at that point. I can manage my save tactics, but I can't rename this one, which I find kind of a pain in the ass. So 
uh, but we can make this one a variant that's basically the same, but maybe say a little bit more defensive. And then over here, I can make another one that's basically the same, but a little bit more aggressive. And then we can make more tune differences to these guys. Oops, I changed the wrong one. Um, the counter, and then this. And then uh, as far as I know, I don't actually have to change these tactics specifically, but this means we are gonna practice these different mentalities along the way. Um, so that's going to be fine. I mean, we could have one for when we're desperate to score, or um, we can have one where we practice a little bit more crossing or something else. But for now, I'm going to just try to max out like our baseline strategy as much as possible. So basically, we've got three copies of effectively the same thing. So hopefully that will keep things going. we got some advice waiting for here. Um, doesn't think Brian Gilmore should be taking free kicks. We, yeah, but he's like really low. Shut up. He's pretty low down on that list. Mm, oh, this is our chief scout. Right, with, you know, half decent ability for our thing. He's willing to join in. We're going to say, yeah, yeah, we'll totally take you. That's fine. So we're going to pay him 210 pounds per week to do that. Get ourselves a chief scout. To do that. Oh, the other thing I was going to do between episodes is scout the um, the English Premier League. Uh, oh, yes, individual training things. Okay, we'll apply these. Um, so this is training on specific things. Here we can also train certain traits, like Nikki. We can tell him to stop taking long shots, which he's only got a long shot skill of two, so I totally agree that that should be something. Uh, Robbie, we should encourage him to play short, simple passes. Um, tr is that what you're developing now? No. Hang on, that's kind of weird. Trait doesn't suit player. So, I don't understand what you're doing. You're pa I don't know. Trait doesn't suit player. Would improve if he was discouraged from playing simple passing game. Oh, he currently plays short simple passes. Oh, right here. He currently plays short simple passes. His passing is a 12. Yeah, we could probably remove... I mean, we are going to play overall a short passing game, but he's always inclined to do that, and he's maybe going to over emphasize that and he actually is half decent at doing that so yes we're going to try to remove that and alan forrest we want him to get him to place shots how do we get them um... oh it was here feel would improve if he was encouraged to start placing his shots i don't know what that means but you know what fine now this does add more training overhead to these players so we'll have to see how that goes overall um i'm going to not necessarily mass do all the scouting because it's a big pain in the ass uh but um yeah it's the team reports on these guys yeah uh, i should use the new guy charlie palmer do some of that and yet there's got to be oh maybe the base scouts can't do it charlie palmer i'm gonna get you to scout the entirety of the premier league yes Okay, maybe there we go. Maybe that's the better way of doing things. So I'm going to scout these guys out, and hopefully we're going to find out more available loners. Because at some point, what we can do at this point is go to all known players and say, okay, I'm not looking for transfers. I'm just looking for people who I can loan, either regularly or even pay for. That's fine. So that becomes that. Then you can search based on the current scouting recommendations. Um, you can also sort roles. So again, if we're looking for an extra, say, um, uh, what am I looking for? Um, Position? Yeah, position, not role. Well, yeah, position's fine. So attacking midfielder left. There we go. And then, so these guys, we don't have any information on them, although some of them are injured. So let's say I just list these guys and then say, all right, let's get a... Um, let's just get a scouting report on them at this point. I think that would be fine. I mean, we could also watch them until we know all their stats. But yeah, let's just get a preliminary scouting report on all these dudes, because these are people that we might be able to get on loan to get there. Um, and loans are super duper cheap. Now, all these guys are actually kind of on the weak side as well. They're pretty cheap. So we actually could probably just um, um, actually just like um, transfer them, right? Bring them in on contract uh, as opposed to just bring them in on loan since that's not too good. We should also oh take a look at goalkeeper over here. Um, sort by value. Yeah, so I don't think there's going to be any strong people available on loan right now. But we don't know all the loaners yet. 
the because we haven't scouted anything, right? If we look at these guys, these should all be part of um, various. What are you in? Highland Lowland League. Yeah, so they're not they're not necessarily going to be super duper strong options either. But we may as well go and do a scout on these guys. As these are relatively fast, just burn through. That's going to be okay. Um, where else are we missing some depth? Oh, we're missing some depth on the defense on the right-hand side. We only have Nick Devlin in there, really. And he's not bad at it, but um, I think he's a little bit older. Uh, so that's going to be a problem. He's also maybe more, you know, if he gets injured, then we're really boned. All right, let's continue. We've got uh, no fixer schedule. That doesn't sound right. No, we got a friendly coming up in five days. There we go. Now four days. Excellent. Uh, good response. Oh, yes, our fitness coach. We definitely need a fitness coach. I don't know why you can't right-click on here. Like, why do I have to click on any of these guys to see what their actual stats are? Um, we want their fitness ability, and level of discipline and motivation is really good. I don't know what determination comes into play here, but it seems to be important for these roles. But yeah, it's kind of annoying to me that I can't get a better thing. So I don't know if I should be focusing on the people with the highest fitness. Is it going to just, like, go down? I think it tries to sort to put some of the best people on top. Although, okay, Colin over here got a 9 and say 9, 12, 14, 14 versus 10, 10, 15, 10. I, I don't know how to, like, weigh those. All right, you. I'm going to approach to sign you. Fine. Uh, we'll try to negotiate a little bit lower. How about 150 per week? Excellent. Finalized deal. Okay. Um, I suppose I could offer to more than one and then just, you know, say no to someone. Um, bleh. Bleh. I don't remember if there was someone else who was, like, semi-okay. I guess probably Colin over here was semi-okay. Uh, we'll approach you because we can always change our mind. There you go. I guess we'll finalize that, and then we can just, like, change our minds at some point, presumably. So we got our two injuries over here. Hopefully they'll get better soon. Those are the ones we started with. Uh, this is who? Oh, Jim Gurley is saying that we should scout Ireland, sure, and scout Central Europe. Yes, I agree. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Um, our training is still, we've got it set to somewhat higher intensity with the fitness focus. There's another friendly over here, so I think I'm going to train a little higher here. And actually, there's nothing going on that week currently. Uh, let me leave it there. there. I think there might be another cup that we'll, we'll get told about relatively soon. Um, we can probably switch away from fitness to our main focus, which is more balanced. But yeah, keep the high intensity over here. So these friendlies, we're going to go in a little bit more tired, which is fine. Uh, Aberdeen on Inverness, they're both in the Premier League. So we'll probably get our asses kicked uh, because they should be much, much better teams than we are. Urban Meadow is in the Scottish Juniors West Super League Premier Division. So probably that doesn't mean as much. These are not even like real players. They're just like... Total just random generated players. They don't have a real team. Yeah, because this league isn't even properly simulated. Um, we should win that one. Uh, it is a way, which is always a bit of a penalty, but we, we should dominate them. Um, except for the fact, again, I'm worried that these tactics are like zero familiarity. I'm really worried that what that's going to mean. All right, let's, let's try to speed this up here. I would like to get a game in before the end of this video. Um, reports, loans, da 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 Okay. Um, keep that going. We're not, we're not going to fill that in yet. We're going to try to get as much information before we start recruiting people. Um, player development. Oh, should tutor people apply? That doesn't, doesn't even look like an apply button, but all right. Oh, I got to talk to them. Uh, could you tutor him? Excellent. And that excellent. Okay, good. That sounds great. Uh, you can tutor him. Yes. Yeah, it actually improved the, his morale. What about Michael? Oh, Michael's went up a lot. Oh, this is actually quite nice. Yeah, tutor more people. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay, that, that went really well. Congratulations, team. Um, okay, so yes, he decided to accept. The other guy's a little cheaper, but I think this is the guy. Slightly higher fitness, big level of discipline. So we're going to go and recruit Michael Bruce, and we'll just say no to the other guy when he shows up. Um, I should. I should have done this once the... Um, did we never get a goalkeeping coach? No, we hired the chief scout. We still haven't gotten a goalkeeping coach. That's right. So when the fitness coach actually comes on board, we'll go and uh, tweak um, that. Okay, lots of news here. 
Bruce completes air move. Good. Search ends for the coach. Da 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 da. People available on loan. Report, 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 report. Um, report. Okay, we'll get back to you. So now, if I go back to training, go here. Just say ask assignment uh, assistant to assign. So you can see Michael Bruce is going to take over the all the fitness training, which is going to be good. Take attention away from me. It's worth noting that um, I went my this uh, my manager here. I didn't like micro or uh, min max all my uh, coaching stats. Um, but I did take the, uh, the setup where I was just better. I think I'm the motivator. So my team talks and everything like that should generally go a little bit better. Um, I'm, you know, I can do a little bit of coaching over here to fill in some gaps, but ideally, especially in goalkeeping, for example, I would like a dedicated goalkeeping coach. So she's starting out for handling. We're just using, uh, Gary Harkins over here. Um, I see a player and a coach. How does he do both? He's got his got certification. Like, is he part of the coaching team? Like, um, staff. Gary Harkins. How does he do both? Huh. Well, whatever. I'm happy that he's doing that. Um, Rowan Fallens. Oh, there we go. Goalkeeping. Oh, uh, and someone specifically wants the job. So this guy wants to come to my uh, squad here. He's only got a goalkeeping skill of seven. That's not terribly nice. We can probably get better than that. I'm gonna avoid the ones that are part of a club already because I may have to pay a bit of a transfer fee. You've got a skill of 15. You're not very good at discipline. Middling with motivation. Tactical, oh yeah, that's Jim Butter, wow. And that is like, yeah, like shot stopping is, yeah. You guys are a little bit broken. And again, I, I don't know why you can't change how this is displayed here. 14, 14, 4, 1, if I'm just looking on the side. You know what? Honestly, even though your goalkeeper skill is lower, I'm starting to think that Guido over here might actually be the best pick. Uh, or maybe this guy. 15, 4, 12. Again, not very high over here, but I think Nails Inglis might be the best pick for us. Uh, and it's pretty well-rounded. 12, 8, 8. 3, 9. Okay, hold on. We're going to go with, um, is it this guy? We're going to go with this guy. Maybe he's the best. Maybe he's not the best. I don't know. He's pretty expensive. Jesus Christ. Um, let's see if we can't negotiate him down. 300? 325 then. Okay. Let's do that. All right. There may have been different asking prices. Maybe we could negotiate with more than one, but let's just move on. Do that. I would still love to get to this friendly here. Uh... Oh, they need some coaches for their under-20s team. Is what they're saying. Um, we should we should hire this. Um, we, no coaches for under twenties. Well, we should get one. Um, there's no there's no youth. Oh, working with youngsters, seventeen actually. You know what? Here, you guys. Yeah, go in and put an order for this guy. Um, an order. There you go. Finalize that deal. Uh, I don't. We have space for a physio, but I got to look at my finances at some point. We'll get the coach for the under 20s and then call that good enough. Oh, must respond. Uh, oh, this is our other fitness coach. So, again, we have. I did correctly hire a fitness coach. Yeah. So, this guy here was a little cheaper, but I don't think it was as good. I'm going to go and cancel that offer. Sorry, bro. Bit of a tease. Uh, what do we got? People available on loan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lee set the sign. That's our goalkeeping coach. I will accept you. Excellent. Continue. And so that'll be nice to have, I think. Search ends. Report, report, report. Oh, and Lee competes his move. Excellent. Blackpool Air friendly canceled. Do the clash with the Air Inverness one. Oh, okay. Ah, Bedford Cup. Yeah, I was, I was pretty sure there was going to be another cup that kicked in over here. So we are going to be in Group G along with Brecken, Bucky Thistle, Dumbarton, and Inverness. So we've got one person in our league, one person above our league, and two people below our league in this Group G. Now, because this just came up, 
the board just wants us to be competitive. I don't think it's got any particular, like, expectations. So if we win, you know, one or two matches, especially against the lower end people, then maybe, you know, don't get out of our group. That that might be sufficient. I don't know. Uh, we've got to go to the training screen, make sure that my coaches get reassigned over there. There we go. So Richard Lee is going to take over all the goalkeeping duties, take a little bit of pressure off the other people so that we get a little bit less of a workload. And presumably that will be okay. I mean, you can manually tune all these things, but we're going to leave that just be as is. Training is going there. We haven't gotten any injuries so far, which is, I guess, good. All right, continue. So we'll get to our first game. And that's today at 3. Jim Gurley, one of our scouts, is being looked at by St. Mirrod. You could try to talk to him and stuff, but I feel that it tends to do bad things, so we're just going to wait. A match preview. Okay. Here's our teams. Who do we want to bring with us? We're going to bring everyone, literally everyone. We could bring up to 12 subs. Um, we literally can't because these two are injured. This person is traded away. We do have to fill this in. This is just a friendly, so we can bring up to 12 subs, and we can sub, like, infinite number of subs. So we will just submit this team as is. And this is a lower tier team, so most likely they will predict us to win. We'll see if that will actually work out. Shuka, 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 shuka. So just loading all the 3D graphics right now. Now, I tend to play, I like to watch the games in 2D. And often I don't even have the, uh, the, like, the key highlight replays turned on. I will leave the goals on in 3D. Fully expect error to record an easy win. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Um, continue to opposition instruction. We don't know anything about the team, so we I mean we could set like, um, tell them to. One thing you can do like for these guys is take a look at how fast. Oh, we have no scouting information, right? Because they're all random regen, so we can't really scout them. If they're partic if they're not particularly fast, it may be nice to tightly mark them. Um, you might want to close down. I think we're just gonna sort of just generic. Not we're not gonna overload them with instructions. We're gonna say, listen, um. Chance to impress me, win yourself in the side for competitive matches. Um, normally, I would do some individual talks here, uh, but I think we'll leave it be. Our morale is okay. I don't want to give too much pressure one way or the other. So we're using our standard strategy, and we're going to start the match. So yeah, I'm going to go and set our camera mode to 2D. We can have the goal highlighting on. Between highlights, we're going to go and increase the speed uh, a lot. And the highlight speed, I'm going to increase a little bit as well. Okay, and I like the 2D view because it gives me the best sense of positioning. Uh, I get a really good sense about how people are spaced out, um, how the passes are going, that sort of thing, because of the straight top down. Oh my god. No. Didn't get to the ball quite quickly enough. Wasn't at a good angle to get it in there. That's all right. So, again, at this point, because our familiarity with the, um, the tactics are so bad, this is not going to be a good place for us to judge to see if people are doing a good job because people are frequently going to be out of position. They're going to be confused. They're going to pass the wrong way. I expect to see a lot of people sort of clustered up bizarrely. Um, that's all the sort of thing that will happen when you're in low familiarity with the strategy. Ooh, good defense there by Magat. Over to Thomas. A long shot does go over the net, but that's all right. We've got our highlights to... It's only friendly. We may not need to keep it on extended. Normally, actually, I tend to play on comprehensive because I really want to see what's going on. Not in friendly so much. But we'll leave it unextended for now, depending on how the game pace goes. It'll depend partially on how many good opportunities present themselves. So they're on a move here. We're very tightly clustered around Lari over here. Have we left, you know, too many people unexposed? We put enough pressure that he was forced to take a shot, which is good. Again, we should... Yes, and then you get this advice from your assistant coach all the time. I find a lot if you if you do a lot of these, sometimes your team just gets more confused because this is not strategy you've practiced as much. And again... My team here is not a top-tier team. Their mental stats aren't quite good enough to necessarily adapt all the time on the fly. I will say our possession is really bad right now, but we're only 13 minutes in. So we'll see how that goes. And, oh, brilliant, beautiful corner from Kearney over there. All the way across to Thomas who knocks it in. Oh, I actually forgot to adjust my corner strategy. I often like to do the near corner thing because it's a lot safer. Like the near post, rather. But this is a long cross over to Thomas. Who's our striker? Oh, it's not a header. Just kicks it in there. Boom. Fan he was left alone, so he had a lot of space to get nice and comfortable there for the one time. McGuffey across the force, who tries to get it. Oh, maybe a pass to Thomas. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell if that was a shot or a pass. Dumps it backwards. Balatoni, our new person who I'm not familiar with in air. I believe he's from Leeds, but um, he speaks Hungarian. So he's, uh, I may, you know, maybe, uh, maybe second generation immigrant. 
Balotoni. Sounds like an Italian name to me, but what do I know about anything? All right, so what's the other team I'm playing against? Meadow, Irvine Meadows. Trying to make a little bit of a play here. Resistance stats have are still kind of on the low side. It's kind of surprising, again, with all the short passing. You know, I'd think that'd be a little bit more consistent, but maybe it's because we're taking more, more shots. That's entirely possible, just because we're in a better position. We've taken six right now. Only 23 minutes in, and another really lovely play. Forrest to Thomas. That's Th Thomas's second goal, yeah? Second of the game. Hey, maybe we're on our way to a hat trick here. That is really... Oh, look at... Th that's Devlin, who passes it to Forrest. So again, he's the right winger there. Big opening there. Thomas must... I'm betting he's got good vision. Because we set him... Oh, right, we set him to be a poacher because of that. His, his entire goal is to put himself in a position where he can score. Ooh, missing on the... Uh, would that be considered a penalty kick there or a free kick? Is it the same? It's penalties only at the end? I don't think so. I think a penalty kick's like a free... Oh, no, that was a free kick because people were in front. A penalty kick can happen during play. I think if you get fouled inside of one of these boxes, but then you'll be taking it from there. Oh, McGuffey just slightly wide. Really nice attempt over there, though. Kudos. Very People are playing very aggressively. Tempo feels good. Again, our possession... Okay, possession's getting to 50-50 here. We've got some good people. 8.7 coming in from Thomas over here. I don't remember. Is Thomas one of the people we have on loan? I'm afraid that that's probably true, which makes me a little bit unhappy. Although we probably have him on loan for a full year. Or rather, I should say the full season. So, and right now, that's all we're looking... Oh! Okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to, re, uh, to reviewing this to see what was going on here with uh, McClellan. Who seemed... Okay, where, where's our orientation here? So, one of these guys... That's Hunter McClellan over here. He's the guy to watch. So no one, I mean, was right on Adams. Although he's been mostly watched. But yeah, McClellan's got that break that comes in here. There's no one around. There's even Hunter over here. Where's... Why, 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 why? My defenders were drawn very much out of position. So, um, we may want to, like, specify that he should be tightly marked going forward. That's one thing we could do. Um, who is that? That's this guy. That's one of the mids. I don't think I'm going to overwhelm them with, with instructions. And we still have a lead now going into the half. Um, give them a morale beast. It's preseason. Well, I'll be, like, passionate. Keep it up. Mm, someone's looking complacent, actually. I don't like that. That's what happens when they feel like um, the game's a little too easy. Um, yeah, don't guard against complacency. Don't think the job's done. There you go. Seems to gain focus. Excellent. Losing confidence in the front. Well, Tom, listen, Thomas, dude, um, strikers, you are um, impressed by your efforts in front. There we go. Excellent. Make him feel a little bit better about things. Don't want to do too much. Uh, how's the energy level? Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Really good. Now, what I'm hoping, again, because we don't have a very stamina -rific team. What is nice is if you can sort of arrange things in such a way that your own people aren't forced to run that much. Ooh, barely got in there, McGuffey. Back to Harkins. Cross to Doherty, who's got an opening there to Kearney. And I think that was just an attempt at a pass. I didn't, like, see the text down there. Surprisingly ahead, given that we're struggling to get shots in. Are we? Uh, we've got 10 shots. I mean, I guess... We've only had, we've got zero clear-cut chances. A lot of them are off-target. Only three of them are on-target. That's true. We may want to work the ball into the box to get a little bit closer. What we'll do after this is take a look, maybe, and find out where have my people been shooting. If there have actually legitimately been a lot of long shots, losing that game is not the end of the world because it's just a friendly, although it does help morale if we do win. So they're starting to do some substitutions. Our team has plenty of energy still, which is really nice to see. Everyone's doing pretty well. Patty Boyle hasn't been doing a stupendously strong game so far, but he just may have not had too many opportunities. It's not like anyone's doing miserably bad at this point. Um, again, I'm worried about overwhelming them with different instructions. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we haven't had like that many shots like really, really strong. And could encourage them to move a little bit closer. Which, given our poor finishing, might be a really good idea. We'll try to retain possession a little bit longer as we get it in there a little closer. But, I don't know. I don't know. What do we got going on here? Oh, there we go. They've got... Yeah, clear that out. Hmm. 
Oh, Thomas with the long shot. Okay, luckily it goes high. We've got a goal kick in there. Because I'm, I'm not, my confidence of Fleming is not super high. I do think that we are going to want to go shopping for a uh, goalkeeper. Um, either on loan from, if we can find one from a better team. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's possible. We may actually want to go and dump um, potentially all of our meager transfer budget towards... Um, actually getting uh, a goalkeeper we may even want to consider getting someone who's not necessarily super strong now but it's got a little bit more potential um we'll have to see that Ooh, thomas nice run can you cross it to someone yes mcguffey Ooh, mcguffey is someone again wasn't set to be super strong in his role as a left winger but his stats were good overall and i think that he's going to be good for us in that position um 3d graphics can you load in thank you very much Thomas forced to go really wide, but look at him. Great position over there. Really gets where he's supposed to go. And the goalie's got no opportunity to stop that. fan freaking tastic Up 3-1. Again, this is a much lower team. We should destroy them. We'll see how it goes. Now, at some point... Oh, man, that was actually looking really good. Nice, fast play over there. Um, at some point, we are going to have to look at substitutions. The other thing we can do is substitute a little bit more aggressively to get our second stringers a little bit more practice and warm-up time here in the friendlies that being said of course our our first teamers want enough mark uh, match sharpness as well and i really don't want to like ooh, okay you've got lots of cover over here he's got no help at all uh, dumps it wide over duncanson but um it looks like we've got everyone good covered who's this at three boil keeping a good eye over here nice clear by magat over to thomas who looks for mcguffey again who's probably gonna have to cross it oh why did you shoot? Why did you shoot? Now, it's possible. I'm not sure that this is it. It's possible if I tell them to prefer short passes. Um, they will do longer passes from time to time, but maybe here he saw, I can't do a short pass and waited the, the medium to longer pass a little bit less and decided that shooting would be better. Um, the other thing we can do, that's not Kelly, McGuffey. We can take a look later on if he's got like, actually, I suppose I could look now. Um, McGuffey over here. You have no particular player traits, which is okay. Yeah. I mean, you're also set, um, this is McGuffey over here, to be a little bit more attacky, right? I think we've got you set to attack. So you might prefer to take the shots. I suppose that's okay. Although I also have you set to like, no, I don't have to, you set to walk the ball in. And maybe that would have made the biggest difference there. Okay, we're not making any changes. That's okay. Um, although, no one's, still no one's tired, right? Yeah, no one's tired. What I could see is, like, Patty, who hasn't had the strongest game. Is there? Uh, do we have a good alternative for you? I like Peter Murphy. He's quite good. He's better in the central position, though. Uh, so it'd be better to replace one of these guys over here. But these guys are really, really good at what they do. I don't think I made any changes yet. No one's, no one's exhausted. Free kick over there. Okay, that was a little aggressive, but... I'm surprised he went straight for the net, honestly. Need to try to retain position. Um, yeah, 47%. Pass completion is good. Again, we're making those short passes, which I do like quite a bit. Headers one. See, we have an advantage over here, but we don't really... I mean, is there a way to find out where those headers are happening? Because that's what I would like to know. Uh, we've got action zones. we got the shot stats, which are quite handy. But I need a breakdown of headers in their end versus my end. Because we're winning more headers than they are. But if that's happening defensively, then I don't want to start doing a bunch of float crosses. Well, they cleared the ball well there. And a couple of defenders in place, and they're not going to get beaten yet. Our defensive line looks good. Ooh, Thomas. Oh, the one-timer goes off the top post. I mean, it didn't come in with particular strength. It was really just floated over there. Surprise. No, no offsides or anything either. How's our fouls? Well, lots of fouls on both sides. Holy crap. No cards, though. But lots of fouling. Which, if we were in against a better team with more discipline, they could take more advantage of that. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we have seen a lot of free kicks. Yeah, energy levels continue to be okay. So, I... Alright, let's take another look here. Um, you know, you've got two goals. I really would like you to, if you can get the, uh, the hat trick. Brian Gilmore. Like, I'm just looking for someone who's a sub who's actually, like, pretty good in the alternative position. But your energies aren't that bad. Patty Boyle. Oh, Patty Boyle finally got a yellow. All right, let's bring in Peter Murphy then. 
It's going to be okay. Because you're going to be playing a little bit more cautiously with the yellow card, so you don't get a red. Um, and Nick, yeah, there's no good replacement for Nick at all. We really do need to get another uh, right fullback. Um, I'll have to check Nick's um, stamina. Hopefully it's relatively good so that he's not going to be required to get subbed out as often. Although, again, we still have to worry about injuries and things like that. If we could find someone who can actually do multiple positions, even if he's not super strong, he becomes a really good um, substitute. Especially to protect against injuries. Alright, so 3 1. And I was hoping to be maybe even like more ridiculously dominant here. Oh, thank you, Fleming. Good job. We got six minutes left to go. Doherty, Harkins, Forrest. Gonna have a hard time finding an opening. Nev Devlin getting past number 15 there. A big. <laughs> yeah, he almost got lucky. I thought the uh, the goalkeeper was going to accidentally kick it in. Or knock it in. Bit of an own goal, but I guess he just tapped it on top. We got the corner kick from Harkins. It gets deflected away. That'll be a throw in for us. With three minutes left in regular time. There'll probably be a little bit of extra time, especially with all these fouls. And yeah, I could do more subs, but I think at this point it's kind of moot. And we're about to end, especially if Magat can keep it clear. That's full time. 3-1 over there. All right, well, we'll give the people some kudos over here. Uh, we'll just calmly say, hey, I don't pour. Um, for preseason match, that was top drawer stuff. So I'm not going to go like say, oh, you guys are super sick, awesome, the best. Well, I'm going to just calmly give them you know, a little faint praise. There we go. Good. Wonderful. Stats there. Leave match. And, yeah, we book our first win. Of course, it's just a friendly, so it's not, you know, necessarily the best, but it's going to be okay. Um, McGuffey should be given uh, match experience playing as a left winger to advance his training. Well, that's exactly what he's doing, so that's going to be okay. Um, yeah, he's working as the inside forward, which is a, a winger variant over here, which is what he's doing. So he's going to get the match play. He's got some potential ability. If we can train him up in that, I think I'll be very happy with this. Oh, so I want to look um, tactically. Okay, Thomas mm, is on loan. Damn. Uh, contract info? Okay, this is the loan contract. So he's going to be with us until January 1st of 2017. That's not even the full season. Playing monthly fee per week. So we're actually paying, yeah, we're paying him 200 pounds per week. So it's not a free loaner. And then he's getting he's getting a bunch of the rest of the money. So his actual contract's for a thousand per week, but Burnley's paying for English Premier League uh, is paying for eight hundred that. We're paying for two hundred of that while he gets developed. It would be nice if we could reloan him um, to finish out the season with. That would be great. But it is important for us to take a, a look at that. Um, and if we take a look at our where do we get our depth? Is it not on squad? Team report? Squad depth. There we go. This is one of the new interfaces. I, I'm pretty sure this screen as is wasn't in 2016. There was a different depth meter. Um, right. Craig Moore. You're another good striker. And we didn't even play you. Yeah, so, okay. But you're another loner. So we've got, we do have two good strikers. Actually, a third. We've got Kevin, Kevin Nisbeth over here. You can only play strikers. So we've got three strikers on loan. You know, that does have me wondering, our current strategy is not making the best use of our strikers here, right? We've got a lot of strikers on loan. Um, they're pretty good. I'm betting, so I'm going to leave my base strategy here. Let's go and mess around over here. And let's say we wanted something that had a two striker combination. Like, for example, the classic 442, for example. That's yeah, a little awkward, though, in my midfield. What else we got that's got two strikers? 442 Diamond Narrow. Oh, that actually might work out better for us. Um, oh, that's going to mess up. Ah, shit, I should have saved. All right, well, we'll figure it out again after because uh, it messes up my my main squad positioning. Um, but yeah, we could put, like, say, Craig Moore and, and Jamie Thomas up front like this. I wonder if that would be more devastating. 
And then here, Gary Harkins still gets played very effectively over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ross and Paul, well there. Uh, this this means we don't really have a good role for Alan Forrest, unfortunately. Um, we don't have a super strong person for this particular position, although we could change things, right? We could do something um, where we even moved up, like something like this. So three in the middle and that, is that too focused in the middle? How's our flank? It's not, this is not so dissimilar to what we just had. But yeah, okay, so, so Forrest, who's actually on our team, um, what else can you play? So you can play attacking midfielder, which means you're really there kind of as a backup to Gary Harkins. Although per Paul Kern is even um, better as a backup, but Paul Kearney also does a really good job in the center. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Ooh. Is this better? I don't know. All right, well, we're going to put a cut in here while I, I sort of consider this. I mean, obviously, this strategy worked in the last game, but that's not a really good example. And so the question is, like, how do we maximize taking advantage of who we've got? And we do have three decent strikers on loan. Now, even Kevin Nismith, well, he's mostly, like, potential. So he might, he's mostly going to be sitting around as a backup striker because he's not good right now. But Moore is very good right now. Thomas is very good right now. What's, what's holding Nesbitt back? Poor first touch. In his, it's not like his finishing's even that special. Yeah, he's very middling of the ground everywhere. So, I mean, maybe if he gets trained up over time, it'll be okay, but... But these two in the front are quite good, especially if we take a look at different potential sub-roles for them. Because 3-1 against a, a team as kind of low-ranking as that other one makes me think we're we're going to struggle against people in our own league. And our next two friendlies are against Premiership teams, so we're going to get crushed doing that. That's okay. That's okay. All right, we'll put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.